And if you've always wanted to work with high quality photo scan cities, you probably like to take a look at cityscapes from the folks at B Production. This is their brand new photo scan city 3D collection, which offers about 96 different cityscapes across 12 big cities. These are set to be photo scanned, and as well, this works with your asset browser. Currently, this is doing a 25% off, so just in case you'd like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at these cities and see what they currently look like. So Blender simply opened right here. What you need to do to get things going is to simply go over to edit, go over to your preference, and then right here where you have your path, you can go over to the plus sign and add the cityscapes. And once you have that, click on the bugger menu and save your preference. So with preference saved, all we need to do now is to simply drag out a brand new panel and we can switch that to the asset browser. And once we switch this to the asset browser, we can go over to cityscapes. Now I do wish that in subsequent versions that these get categorized. As right here, we get to see lots of Barcelona and then we can see lots of Berlin, Copenhagen, Las Vegas, London, although right here it's called Londres. And you can also see cityscapes of Los Angeles, Lyon, New York City, Paris, and also Stockholm. So depending on the city that you're trying to work with, you can go in, drag and drop. So in subsequent updates, I would suggest that these get categorized as that way it will be easier to just simply scroll and find exactly what you're looking for. And to work with this is very easy. It's already in the asset browser. So all you need to do is click drag and drop so once you drag and drop you can tell that this looks pretty much for the scan especially with what the mesh actually looks like right now so we can go in and see it and this is uh this is quite a lot so if we choose to preview this you can see how dense these files are it's set to come with 8k so we can go ahead and check this out and for this we're going to switch from ev to cycles set this to gpu and make sure that we have the denizer turned on. So if we simply jump into cycles to preview this, we can start taking a look at it. Now these cities can be placed side by side. The whole idea of the cityscape is for you to be able to create that interesting background. And probably if you're trying to create like a flight through, maybe you do have an area view of your scene and probably just wanna have a flight through these can also come in very handy. For the lighting, we're just simply going to go ahead and set this to sun that is pretty bright. So we'll set this to 10. And we can actually drop that to five, depending on the kind of day that we're trying to make. So we can have that and we can also go ahead and grab some more. So maybe we would like to mix things a little bit more. Probably I can get a bit more of New York on this other side. And we can also go in and get some other parts, say Los Angeles. We can mix them up as this is Blender. And, you know, in 3D, you can definitely do what you want. And we can mix them up as well and we can also go all the way up and find some more interesting things i would like to look at something from london as it's a very pronounced city and like i mentioned earlier these are cityscapes which are things that you can either use for fly throughs aerial shots or maybe if you just want to have that interesting background outside the window to fine tune the scene that you're creating then of course you can simply go ahead and use this so again, if you're thinking about adding a few more bits and pieces here and there, you can. So for our case, we're going to get a few things from London and also proceed to mix that up from Osaka, Kyoto and also Paris. So with this, you can kit bash your scenes and also kit bash the kind of landscape that you're going for. And if you like to even make things even more cuter, you can throw in a few clouds here and there and also polish this scene to get the kind of result that you want. Something which is also very, very useful all the time when you create scenes like this is having some grass so what we did is just go ahead and put a few vegetations here and there and from there we also went over and brought in a few air elements just to get our scene going and with that this is what we have so this is it for those who are thinking about exploring this this is basically what this tool is it is currently available on blender market for 25 percent off the folks at b production have actually put this one out and this isn't the only thing that they've done if you also go over to their page you will notice that they do have a few other things like the cloudscape which we've just talked about is currently available they've got the vegetation tools they've also got a cam effects which they're also doing a 25 percent off and in case you're thinking about getting their entire landscape bundle they are now putting out a landscape bundle for you so you can go ahead and grab this landscape bundle and it deals with the mountainscape and also the cityscape tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace